Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Carla. How are you today? Fine, teacher. It's my day off. Okay, so you are relaxed. Yes. <laughs> Did you do anything interesting at home? Yes, laundry. What? Sorry? Laundry. Ah, you did the laundry. Yes. Okay, nice. And what about you, Fernand? How are you today? Great hey, teacher. I am waiting for the time to learn English. Okay, very nice. Did you go to work today? Today, uh, I don't work. Is your day off? Uh, the, uh, the next week, I am work. Oh, you will. Oh, you're going to work the next, the next week. Next week. Okay. In, in this week, no, no. I am not working. Okay, very good. Uh, what about you, Iris? How are you today? Uh, fine, but nervous for the news. Oh, ah, really? Oh, so you feel nervous? You feel stressed? Yes. yes. <laughs> okay. Well, I don't know what's going on because I haven't seen news today. Uh, ahora no he visto noticias o no sé qué está pasando. Voy a verlas <laughs> al final de la noche. A ver qué dicen oficialmente porque se oyen muchas cosas, muchas cosas que mandan... En, en, Y a veces no son ciertas, ¿verdad? Entonces lo mejor es ver las noticias, ya algo oficial, ¿verdad? No sé, no sé qué está pasando ahorita, pero <ríe> creo que algo que sí es cierto es que no es bueno estresarse porque el estrés baja las defensas y ahí es más fácil que nos ataque. Entonces hay que buscar cómo distraerse, tal vez jugar con los niños, este, jugar a desinfestar la casa. <ríe> Buen juego. Todavía no dan resultados. A las, dijeron que a, a las siete y media. Ajá, no pero han dicho nada. Van a dar los resultados de las personas que les han hecho las pruebas hoy. Ojalá y primero Dios que no, que no sea nada grave, ¿verdad? Y sigamos como estamos. Sí, primeramente Dios, ¿verdad? Lo bueno es que no es muy mortal que digamos, pero hay que cuidarse. Asusta, hay que cuidarse. Sí. Asusta, asusta por todo lo que está pasando. Eh, ver los super, los super eh, desabastecidos, los parques acordonados, todo asusta, más creo todo eso, pero hay que encontrar la manera de distraerse y de canalizar el estrés. Solo hay que esperar las noticias, una fuente oficial, no lean cadenas, no estén oyendo audio de cosas que no son ni oficiales. Ahora esperar las noticias y tomar las medidas respectivas, ¿verdad? Para que no, no nos vayamos a morir de estrés antes que de coronavirus. Hay que aprender inglés primero para después ver qué hacemos. Cabal, a ver qué hacemos con el inglés. Ok. Um, well, I don't know if you check the platform today. Yeah. Ok, for today, I expect to finish the section number three. When we finish section number three, you have to complete all the exercise, section one, section two, section three, and then you have the midterm exam. Okay? Uh -huh. At the end of section three, you have the midterm exam, so you have to study a lot. And um, well, I told you some days ago that you have to review and check the topics and tell me if you need more exercises, more practice with a specific topic, okay? I don't know if you have any topic in a special that you would like to review. Not yet. Location and directions. Location and directions. So, nadie chequeó la plataforma ahora. Yes. yes. So, for today, we will continue with the location and directions. Uh, 
We are going to go specifically for the exercise 3.9. Okay, this is uh, what we practiced yesterday. This is the video that we have here. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to ask for and give directions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, Is it far from here? Let's listen and practice. Excuse me, ma'am. Can you help me? How do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Just walk up 5th Avenue to 50th Street. St. Patrick's is on the right. Is it near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it's right across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? Is it far from here? It's right behind you. Just turn around and look up. We're going to practice giving directions now. Let's practice these phrases and vocabulary to give directions. How do I get to Rockefeller Center? Walk up Fifth Avenue. Go up Fifth Avenue. Turn left on 49th Street. It's on the right. How can I get to Bryant Park? Walk down Fifth Avenue. Go down Fifth Avenue. Turn right on 42nd Street. It's on the left. So let me summarize the vocabulary we must learn. Four questions. How do I get to? And we mention a place. Or how can I get to? Then we mention a place. Four answers. Walk up go up, walk down, go down, turn left on, turn right on, on the right, on the left. Make sure you memorize this vocabulary as it will be essential to ask for and give directions. Now let's try to analyze the expressions walk up or go up. The first thing we want to do when given directions is to have a departing point. Where are you located and where do you want to go? Let's say that we are at the Empire State Building and we have a question like the example shows. How do I get to Rockefeller Center or how can I get to Rockefeller Center? The first instruction would be walk up Fifth Avenue or go up Fifth Avenue. Now let's pretend that we are at 42nd Street and Madison Avenue. And we want to get to St. Patrick's Cathedral. The question would be how do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Or how can I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? The first instruction would be walk up Madison Avenue or go up Madison Avenue. Now let's pretend we are at St. Patrick's Cathedral and we want to get to New York Public Library. The question would be how do I get to New York Public Library or how can I get to New York Public Library. The first instruction would be walk down 5th Avenue or go down 5th Avenue. So what is the next step to get to New York Public Library? For that we will use the vocabulary turn right on or turn left on depending on where our destination is. So to answer that question we will say turn right on 42nd Street. So what is the last step after turning right on 42nd Street? For that we will use the vocabulary on the right or on the left. So in this case it's on the left. 
Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to give directions using this map. Also, try to give directions to your local supermarket, hospital, school, park, etc. Yes. Okay, as you can see, this is just practice. It's only practice. So to practice, we're going to look at the vocabulary on the book also. Okay, this is what you saw on the platform. This is very useful vocabulary. Uh, so I'm going to play it one more time and we can repeat it when we listen. Page 90, exercise 9, grammar focus, directions. How do I get to Rockefeller Center? Let's repeat. How do I get to How Rockefeller do? Center? How, How do you like to I could have the Rockefeller, Rockefeller Center? Center? One more time. How do I get to Rockefeller Center? How, How do, do I, I get, get to Rockefeller, Rockefeller Center? Center? Okay, that sounds better. Ahora sonaron mejor. Y ahora en la tercera van a sonar gringos. Let's repeat. How do I get to Rockefeller Center? How, How do, do I get, get to Rockefeller, Rockefeller Center? Center? Excellent. Now, let's continue. Walk up Fifth Avenue. Go up Fifth Avenue. Walk up Fifth Avenue. Walk up Fifth Avenue. One more time. Walk up Fifth Avenue. 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 Ambos significan lo mismo. Es como en español decimos. Camine hacia arriba, vea, o esta calle para arriba. Puede decir walk up o puede decir o up. Luego el nombre de la calle o de la avenida. Uh -huh. En este walk caso, up. por ejemplo, walk tenemos up. Fifth Avenue. Fifth Avenue. 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 Vamos a repetir este. Turn left on 49th Street. 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 Turn left. It's on the right. Turn left on turn right. It's on the right. It's on the right. It's on the right. Now let's repeat this one. How can I get to Bryant Park? Let's repeat. How can I get to Bryant Park? How can I get to Bryant Park? Walk down Fifth Avenue. Walk down Fifth Avenue. Go down Fifth Avenue. Go down Fifth Avenue. Go down Fifth Avenue. Fifth Avenue. Go down Fifth Avenue. Turn right on 42nd Street. Turn right, Turn right on the 42nd Street. It's on the left. It's on the left. It's on the left. It's on the left. Okay. Algo que se nos explica en el video, en el video este es el mapa que ustedes vieron y es el vocabulario que escucharon, es este. Para dar direcciones es importante tener un punto de partida, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver. Okay, there you go. We have a, uh, este puede ser el punto de partida y luego um, tenemos que especificar a dónde queremos ir. Acá tenemos algunos lugares. Vamos a repetir. Shoe shop. 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 Café. Café. Bookshop. Bookshop. Cinema. 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 Coffee shop. Coffee shop. Bus station. Bus station. Bus station. Market. Market. Park. 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 Hospital. 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 Bank. 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 
Ok. ¿Cuáles son las preguntas que podemos utilizar para, um, cuando necesitamos llegar a un lugar? How do I get? How can I get? How, 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 uh -huh. how, 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 so, you can ask, where is the park? Oh, how can I get to the park? Or, how can I get? Uh -huh. So, if you are here, can you look at the pointer here in the mouse? Let's yeah. suppose yeah. that you are here. And you need to go to the bus station. Okay, so you ask, how can I get to the bus station? Get a pack. Go up. Get you up. can go up. Go up. Get up. Uh -huh. Go up. Run. Uh, and uh, turn uh, left. Turn, turn, turn right. Turn right. Turn right. 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 Turn right on the corner. corner. In the corner. Uh -huh. Turn, Turn right, right on the corner. Turn right in the corner. Um, and the finish. <laughs> okay. Like I go I down the street. Like I <laughs> <laughs> go down the street. Okay. It's, y le puede decir, está a la, it's on the oh, right. 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 It's on the right. Now, another volunteer. ¿Cómo le decíamos a esto? Remember? Roundabout. Yes, it's a roundabout. 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 Okay. Um, can you, Freeland, ask a classmate how to get to any of these places? So you can ask, for example, uh, Carla, how can I get to the hospital? Uh, Carla, where is the shoe shop? Para que Carla lo guíe. Pregunto, Carla, how can I get to the hospital? Okay, walk, walk up. Walk up. Walk up. Walk up. A la, la cosa esa, ¿cómo se llama? Left. To the left. Roundabout. Okay, take the take the first turning on the roundabout. Roundabout. Uh, a turn right. Turn right. Uh huh. Uh, and turn right and the corner. Tome el primer, sería la primera salida, verdad? Take the first turn on the left, on the right. On the on the right. Okay, take the first turn on the right. And the hospital is across uh, from the park. Okay, the hospital is across from the park. Excellent, Carla. Excellent job. Now ask another classmate, Carla. Okay. It is. Uh, how do I get up a uh, bank? How do I get to the bank? Go up and run up to a Right. Uh, uh, go up. Um, um, and right. Next. Um. Sigue caminando. Go up. Uh, <laughs> go up the street. Uh -huh. Go up the street. Y no sé cómo decir hasta el final está el banco. ¿Cómo se podría decir? To finish, ¿no? Ajá, uh -huh. go, go up. The bank is on the right. Go up and the bank is on the right. Ok. Right. Eso sería, el banco está a la 
a la derecha. 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 Uh -huh. <risa> Puede decir opposite to the hospital. Opposite. Opposite. Oh, across? Across. Uh, across from, across the, from the hospital. The hospital. The hospital. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, Iris, ask another classmate. Uh, how do you get to the coffee shop? Uh, Vicent. Victor. Oh, Victor. Froilan. Go up. Go up on the corner. The first, the first street. It is cross. Right. Here. The, here the first, the first street. Go. On the corner. Uh, turn, turn right. ¿A dónde íbamos? Ya me perdí. Aquí no estaba la flechita. Coffee shop. Ah, uh, to the coffee yeah. shop. So coffee ok. Shop, sí. Go up the street. Go up the street. Uh, turn, turn right. Turn right. Oh, turn right. And up, turn right uh, again. Uh -huh. uh, go up. Go up. Go up the street. The coffee shop is in front of cinema. Okay. Or the front of the bus station. In front of the bus station. Excellent, Freilan. Let's ask another question to another classmate. We have Danny, Jaime, Abigail. Ask another classmate, Freilan. We got the market, the shoe shop. Pregunto a alguien. Yes, uh -huh. you can ask Danny or Jaime, Abby. Uh, uh, Danny, how, how can I get uh, the shoe shop? The shoe shop. Um, you can walk for a few minutes and you can start in a um, roundabout across is the shoe shop okay it's across from the shoe shop across from the shoe shop okay that's nice as you can see this is just practice y con la, ya eso lo llevan esta es la segunda clase de esto y lo están haciendo muy bien now les voy a poner otro a que analicen otro otro mapa aquí vamos a practicar hasta que se bueno si se les veo que bastante bastante ok we have this um, this is an interactive presentation. So you remember places. How many places do you remember? Art gallery. Bakery. Bakery. Supermarket. Supermarket. Gas station. Gas station. At hospital. Okay. Pharmacy. Uh huh. Store. Store. Yes. Museum. 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 A bank. L library. Library. Bookstore. Butcher. Drugstore. Butchers. Drugstore. Okay. Como decíamos alcaldía ayer lo vimos. House. City. City, City Hall. City Hall. City Hall. City Hall. Hall. Excellent. City Hall. So you're going to help me. <coughs> Mr. Slut is receiving some instructions to investigate a case. Look at the city map and guess where he is going to go. Okay, here we have the instructions. So you have to read the instruction and tell where is he going to go. Okay, here is the investigator, okay? 
It is the detective. Yes. Can you see the detective? Yes. 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 You have the names of the streets here. Yes. Now, what you have to do is Avenue. to read the instructions. You need to go. Por favor. Gracias. It says, um, go straight on Elm Street, past the park. Turn right on Park Avenue and turn left on Oak Street. Stop on the left, across from the hospital and next to the church. So, ¿a dónde tiene que llegar el detective? Lean la dirección y me dicen para a dónde es que tiene que ir a investigar. Oh. Elm Street. Mm -hmm. Street. Elm Street. Pass the park. Gira a la derecha. Can you guess the place? Oak Street. Oak Street. Oak Street. City Hall. So you think that he needs to go to the, the city hall? In the, in the park. City Hall. I think this is the city hall. Where is the city hall? Is this one? Yes. The church. Hospital. As across from the hospital. And next to the church. So you think it's okay. the city hall. Let's see. Uh, up street. Oh. Okay, let's check. Almost him. <laughs> Oh, it was a school. <laughs> the answer was school. He needed to go to the school. Uh huh. Top on the left, across from the church. Decía across from. Recuerdense que across from es al otro lado de. Si dijera next to, sí era City Hall, pero no decía next to. Okay. Okay. Let's see the next one. Ahora creo que ya con este ya, ya entendieron cómo va el juego. Okay, next. All right, let's read the instructions. Go straight on Elm Street, past the cafe and the bank. Turn left on Pine Street and turn right on Oak Street. Pass the pet shop and the butcher shop. And left on Hill Road. Top on the left and next to the stadium. Put attention where is the investigator. Hay que ver a dónde está el investigador. In the library. Pet shop. It says go straight past the cafe and the bank. Mm -hmm. Turn left on the turn left on Pine Street. Pass bus station. Shop, bus station. Oh, shop, oh, the bus oh, shop. Uh -huh. Next. The, uh, turn left. Uh, left on here. Ah, oh, see. Oh, the left. Oh, the left. Y para frente al estadio, en el estadio, ¿no? Para frente al estadio. Next. Por pecho, left y por left. Después del estadio. Pass the pet shop and the pet church shop. Next to the estadio, la parte del estadio. Left on Hill Road. Next to a la par. Ahí está la piscina. So you think it's the swimming pool? 
Oh. Um. So you say it's the swimming pool. Swimming pool. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's check if you're right. Yes, your answer is correct. The swimming pool. Okay, now let's read the next one. Okay, let's see the next one. Okay, the investigator is here. Let's read the instruction. En el taller, ¿o qué es? Donde reparan. Gas station. Atrás del, de la gas station. ¿O qué es? Pasó. The mechanic. Ok, so you say the mechanic, you say taller, pero ya les dije. Garage. Garage. Okay. Gas station. Garage. Uh, Beijing. Beijing. Behind. Behind the gas station. Behind gas station. And garage. Ok, go straight on the cinema and the shopping mall. Right. Okay, yes, that's correct. Excellent. Nice job. He needed to go to the garage. Now, next slide. Okay, pay attention. The investigator is here, the detective. Here are the instructions. Go straight on Elm Street. Turn right past on Pine Avenue, turn left on Oak Street, and turn right on Park Avenue. It's next to the hospital across from the car park. Police station. Police station. Okay, I heard too that says police station. Let's check. Yes, you were right. To the police station. <coughs> you needed to go to the police station. Let's check the next one. Okay, what is the that oh I'm saying it is here? It is the detective. Now the instruction. station. Gas station. Okay, you think gas station? Let's gas check station. bus station. Let us check your answer. Station bus. Station bus. Okay, you were right. The bus station, yes. Bus station. 
Okay, you did an excellent job with this. Está fácil, ¿verdad? No tanto. <risa> es lo más difícil que he visto. <risa> en serio. Bueno, igual en español es difícil estar dando direcciones, ¿verdad? <risa> Good this vocabulary. Yo siento que lo han hecho muy bien. Okay. Well, after that, you have a reading comprehension exercise. So we're going to take a look to the reading exercise here. And this is the end of the section three. How do I get this? Yes, we have a reading exercise at the end of section three. Um, I'm going to play the audio so you can listen the pronunciation. Let's reading exercise reading exercise page 91 exercise 11 reading reading edinburgh's royal mile one start your walking tour at edinburgh castle climb up 187 steps to the top of castle hill for a great view then take a tour of the castle two Walk down the Royal Mile three blocks to St. Giles Cathedral. Go inside and look at the colorful windows. Three. Take a break at Spoon Cafe. Go down the Royal Mile and turn right on South Bridge. The restaurant is on the left. Four. You're almost at the Museum of Childhood on the right on the Royal Mile. There's a great collection of toys, dolls, and games here. Five. Continue down the Royal Mile. Stop at the Museum of Edinburgh to learn about the history of Scotland's capital. Six. End your walking tour in Holyrood Park, right behind the museum. Okay, did you find the vocabulary? Almost, almost. Almost is casi. What number is it in? Um, climb, climb, up. climb, climb up. Climb is trepar. Y el app es para arriba. <laughs> Climb up. <laughs> Climb up. Yeah. Es trepar. <laughs> oh, a subir. Se refiere a subir. En este start you walking turn at Edinburgh Castle. Climb up. Eh, suba. Tiene que subir 187 gradas. One, uh, 187 steps. Go up. Wow to the top of the castle here for a great view and they take a turn of the castle. Okay. Climb up. Es cuando hay que escalar. Escalar. En este caso van a escalar 187 gradas. Okay. Any other new word? Aha, mm -hmm. uh -huh. in number four, you're almost at the museum. Aha, uh -huh. estás casi en el museo de la niñez and the museum of childhood on the right, on the Royal Mile. There is a great collection of toys, dolls, and games here. Hay una colección genial de juegos, juegos. Right behind? When they say right behind you, it's, it's está justo atrás, justo atrás. Right uh, behind uh, the museum. Right está justo atrás del museo. Mm -hmm. Right behind, justo atrás. Atrás, no? Mm -hmm. Justo atrás. Okay. Let's listen again and pay attention. 
because after you hear, we're gonna um, we're gonna answer this. Listen one more time. Page ninety one, exercise eleven, reading. Edinburgh's Royal Mile. One. Start your walking tour at Edinburgh Castle. Climb up 187 steps to the top of Castle Hill for a great view. Then take a tour of the castle. 2. Walk down the Royal Mile three blocks to St. Giles Cathedral. Go inside and look at the colorful windows. 3. Take a break at Spoon Cafe. Go down the Royal Mile and turn right on South Bridge. The restaurant is on the left. 4. You're almost at the Museum of Childhood, on the right on the Royal Mile. There's a great collection of toys, dolls, and games here. 5. Continue down the Royal Mile. Stop at the Museum of Edinburgh to learn about the history of Scotland's capital. 6. End your walking tour in Holyrood Park, right behind the museum. Okay, so remember the names of the places, okay? We had the Edinburgh Castle, St. Giles Cathedral, the Spoon Cafe, the Museum of Childhood, Museum of Edinburgh. Park. Park. Now, Park. let's see. Where can you, where can you rest and eat lunch? A spoon cafe. cafe. It's spoon cafe. cafe. Excellent. Good. Where can you learn about Edinburgh history? Museum, Museum at Edinburgh. Yes, at the Museum of Edinburgh. Museum. Yes, excellent. Now, where can you take a tour? Uh, Edinburgh Castle. Edinburgh Castle. Yes, excellent. You have good memory. And uh, number four, see beautiful windows. Gilles Cathedral. Cathedral. Saint Gilles Cathedral. Excellent. Where can you see all games? Museum of Childhood. Excellent. Museum of Childhood. Museum of Childhood. Yes, the Museum of Childhood. Okay. Yeah. All right. And as part of this, um, we practice the conversation, right? And they are talking about touristic attraction, right? I don't know if you have ever traveled to New York, but those are the top touristic attractions in New York City. Let's listen. Page 89, exercise seven, snapshot. Top tourist attractions, New York City. Listen and practice. The Empire State Building, Grand Central Terminal, Central Park, Times Square, Rockefeller Center, the Statue of Liberty. Okay, let us listen one more time. Page 89, Exercise 7, Snapshot, Top Tourist Attractions, New York City. Listen and practice. The Empire State Building, Grand Central Terminal, Central Park, Times Square, 
Rockefeller Center, the Statue of Liberty. Okay, which one is the most attractive for you? Which one would you like to visit? Central Park. Okay, Carla, so you would like to visit the Central Park. Hmm, that's nice. What about you, Karen? What would you like to visit? Where would you like to go? Uh, to the Statue of Liberty. To the Statue of Liberty. Uh huh. Very good. Where would you like to go, Iris? Uh, Times Square. To the Times Square. Oh, that's interesting. And the rest of you, Jaime, where would you like to go? <coughs> ah, to the Statue of Liberty. And uh, what about you, Danny? Where would you like to go? Um, the Empire State Building. To the Empire State Building. Hmm, building. Okay. Victor, where would you like to go? Uh, Grand Central Terminal. Uh, no, the no, Grand no, Central no. Terminal. The Empire State Building. Ah, to the Empire State Building. Okay. Well, yes. those are the top touristic attractions in New York. And that was the conversation that we practiced this conversation yesterday, right? But we can practice a little bit more just to practice more pronunciation. Page 89, exercise eight, conversation. Is it far from here? Listen and practice. Excuse me, ma'am, can you help me? Okay, let's repeat. Excuse me, mom, can you help me? Excuse me, mom, can, can you help me? Excuse How do I get to St. Patrick's me. Cathedral? How do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? How, How do I get, I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Cathedral? Just walk up 5th Avenue to 50th Street. Just walk up 5th Avenue to 50th Street. Just call Avenue 5th Street. 50th Street. 50th Street. St. Patrick's is on the right. 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 Is it near Rockefeller Center? Is it near Rockefeller Center? Near Rockefeller Center. Is it near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it's right across from Rockefeller Center. Yes, it's right across from Rockefeller Center. Yes, yes. yes. it's right, right, across, across, right across, across from Rockefeller Center. Center. Okay, one more time. Yes, it's right across from Rockefeller Center. Yes, yes. it's right, yes. right, it's right across, across from Rockefeller, Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? Thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? Thank you. Thank you. Where is the Empire State Building? Is it far from here? Is it far from here? It's far from here. It's far from here. It's right behind you. It's right behind you. It's right behind, behind you. It's right behind you. Right behind you. Just turn around and look up. Just turn around and look up. Just turn around. Just turn around and look up. Look up. Uh huh. Está justo atrás de ti. It's right behind you. Okay, now let's do an exercise. Vamos a hacer un ejercicio. Todos los chicos, Froilan. Victor, Jaime, Dani, van a repetir la parte del turista al mismo tiempo. Y las chicas, Iris, Carla, Karen, veamos, Abigail se fue, si sí, ya no está Abigail. Ok, ustedes van a repetir al mismo tiempo la parte de la señora, woman, 
Ok, primero los chicos, todos al mismo tiempo a la cuenta de tres. One, two, three. Excuse me, mom. Excuse me. Can you help me? Mom. How do I Can get you help me? How do you get a Espérense, espérense, que como que le llegó la señal regal. <laughs> <laughs> ok, at the count of three. One, two, three. Excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me, ma'am. Can, ma Can you help me? How do you How do I get, I get... to St. Patrick's Cathedral? No, ¿verdad? Que lo repitan. <laughs> ready, ready. One, two, three, go. Excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me, ma'am. Can you help me? Can you help me? Help me? How do I get to, How do I I get get to the St. Patrick Cathedral? St. Patrick Cathedral. Just went up Field Avenue to 6th Street. St. Patrick, Patrick is on the, the on right. The right. Is it near Rockefeller Center? Near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it's right across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And where Thank is the Empire State is Building? Empire State Building. Is it is far, far, far from here? here? It's right it's behind, you. behind you. Just turn right around right. and lock up. Look up. Very good. Now let's change. Ahora cambiamos. <laughs> Girls, you start. Ahora las chicas empiezan. One, two, three. Excuse me, ma'am. Can you help me? Can you help me? How, How do you I get I to St. Patrick Cathedral? She's walking up Fifth Avenue. Fifth Avenue. St. Patrick is on the right. St. on the right. It, it is Rockefeller Center? Center? Yes, it's yes. right across from this Rockefeller right Center. Right from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. Thank you. And where is Empire, Empire State, State, State Building? Is it far from, from here? It's right. right. It's right behind, behind you. You uh, turn around, around and, look and look up. Okay, very good. La segunda vez salió mejor que la primera. <laughs> Esto es así, inglés es práctica. Pueden ir a la plataforma, ver los ejercicios, las conversaciones. Ustedes pueden escuchar, pausarlo y repetir. Escuche, pause, repita, escuche, pause, repita y no se canse de hacerlo. Inglés es mucha práctica, mucha, mucha práctica. Acuérdense que la plataforma es 24-7. No tienen un límite de tiempo para estar ahí practicando, así es que hay que aprovechar. Recuerden, con esto terminamos la sección 3. Ya terminamos la sección 3 ahora. So, tendrían que estar completando los ejercicios y el examen que está después de la sección 3. El midterm exam. Okay. Okay. Si tienen algún okay. problema con algún ejercicio, pueden escribir al, al chat para que se les pueda brindar ayuda. Igual les pido que revisen lo que hemos visto en la sección 1, 2, 3. Y si hay un tema que ustedes sienten que necesitan reforzar, me lo hacen saber el lunes para preparar algún refuerzo específico para esos temas. Ok, teacher. Ok, so don't panic. If you watch the news, try not to stress. Hay que tratar de no estresarse. And follow the instructions and that's it. So see you tomorrow. No, tomorrow is Friday. No, no, no. I see you Monday. See you on Monday. Monday. Okay, bye-bye. Good night, teacher. Monday. Monday.